Time now for Weather Watch, brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and WSR Insurance. Earth Day topic of the show for today, and we have a lot going on in terms of El Nino plus the seasonal weather variations. We've got to watch out for flooding here in the near term, plus whatever El Nino may bring this summer. Talking about all of that stuff in today's Weather Watch. But again, Earth Day, uh, you may not know it, but outside of the seasonal changes, you know, the sun sinking in the sky or being directly over it, that's the biggest climate driver we have across the globe. Second to that, is what happens with El Nino or La Nina. So we can't really change the seasons and we can't change El Nino or La Nina, but we can predict both. So let's see the latest prediction for El Nino. So it's just looking at the sea surface temperatures. Are they warmer or colder than average? Let me show you in a series of an animation here. It's gonna fade in between two images, but notice that blue coloration, that was earlier this year. That was mid to late January. And then the image that pops on there with the brighter, warmer colors there, that's where we are today. So we've seen a rapid warming of the conditions there across the equatorial Pacific where these black boxes are. That's where we look for La Nina and El Nino. La Nina is gone because we've warmed that area of ocean up. It continues to warm up, currently in a neutral phase. But what does the future hold? Is El Nino on tap? Latest forecast for this region where we look for El Nino does call for warmer and warmer ocean temperatures there going forward. So that by the time we're in June, July, August, August, September, October, next fall, into next winter, El Nino is not locked in to move in, but certainly the probabilities do favor an El Nino by the summer or into early next fall. I discuss it in greater detail in the National Academy, the Directions Magazine, coming into your mailboxes ASAP should be there anytime. And I talk about the summer outlook there. Spring flooding outlook, we have to watch out for the West and much of the Mississippi and the Missouri. A lot of flooding has already occurred here. We have to watch out from St. Cloud and Minneapolis all the way down to the South towards St. Louis there, part of the Mississippi. Highest threat of flooding in that stretch of river, plus what happened out in California and Nevada with all the snow, flooding likely there as well. We chatted about that spring flooding outlook in the last weather watch, but a quick update there that flooding is top of mind as we're warming up. That's today's Weather Watch. Matt Makins here. Blessings to you and yours. Weather Watch is brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors, with you no matter the weather, and by WSR Insurance, providing insurance solutions for more than a century. Visit their websites for more details.